this board is dry. This is, I did this the other day. Acrylic. Fit it. Some of the smaller boards that I've done for the um, home care program or smaller spaces. There are no screws in these because it's so thin. Each of these, they look—they are small, but they take—they take me quite a while to um, finish because of the custom painting background and then the drying time and adding new coats and uh, put an acrylic gloss on here to seal it. So that takes time to dry. And when you're using the, the, the glue, you want that to dry overnight before you add more things. And sometimes you have to add weight on top of things. So, but anyway, this is a CD and I just put the different eyes around here for tracing and some ribbon that I put here. There goes some satin ribbon. And that's here. And here's the, always make a bell. These are some measuring spoons. These are for the pom-pom drop. Pom-poms in here. This is the sense. Here's a sensory a sensory bottle, um, a denim pouch here. You can store some things in here, so, and then they use the snaps to attach these scrunchies. You'll see these scrunchies on a lot of the things that I make for the little ones because by putting their hands in here or getting them to put, open this up and put it all over something. This is like the same hand movements as they use two hands that they're going to need to use when they're learning to put on their socks. And so many children fight <laughs> while putting on their socks, but this is to help them get started. It's a pom-pom for them to play with and some more clips, some more decorative beads and a zipper. I just reinforce the sides with some of these, my bling wrap. And I like this because it's this hand right like here and it has the buckle on this side as well. You can hold it by the hand handle up here that actually a draw pull but it can be used on the floor if they don't want to put it on the wall or it can be easily attached to a wall with not a huge screw needed so and then I have this one also got the same custom background and this is velcroed on so you can actually move around cut it knocked off so I have it in the corner but this one's just different has a light one of these guys has some of the same stuff on here I don't know why two of them and this is, has the 3D eyes instead of the eyes. Little kids love to click. There we go. And I can just put that in there. Like so. And then the toilet paper rolls. And these can come off and you can just use
Yeah, I've been a very busy beaver. I, at first, it, it, I felt it got a little bit messed up because of, yeah, I was doing it outside and the, the protective covering for the table flew up and hit it. But I left it because I liked that it gave it some more texture. So I just sealed it with some acrylic sealant, um, polyacrylic before I started attaching everything. But I really like the design. It's not too overpowering. So you have to be careful with the design in the background. You don't want it too bright or too many contrasting colors because then it's going to compete with the things that are at the front. So this one is quite similar, but it has this large snap here instead of the small snap. These are from the top of a Huggies container of white baby wipes and I've got some colored rice and some eyeballs, some jewels and some beads in here for them to feel, touch, see, seek, find. There's a smaller whisk and I put some ribbon in here as well as some pom-poms for them to try to take out. See how clips here, this didn't work. This is working, that's the only reason I put it uh, on that one here. I don't know if I, I might sell it, I'm not sure. And here is a little button thing about here. I have two zippers. This is just a stick from, I don't know what I had. I just painted and put some of these elastics in here and attached it. Here's another scrunchie. And there's actually some elastics here that they can use to put on and some more stuff in there. So that's number three. And so this is an even smaller one that someone can have at home and you could take it, put it on the floor or the wall. It has a lot of the same things on them, just little different patterns and organization of it. Some Lego strips here, beads, zippers, numbers, CD. Down here, I put some eyes on the button. Ugh. So that's that. And this one, I like this gray paint. So most of these paints, I mix the color myself, but this was, I used, mixed it a little bit lighter. So I did this before, this little car. I put that on there, some jewels here, and the road on the CD. And then another Pampers container, but um, wipe, a wipe, some sand paper in there. This is some track tracing and some pom poms can go in here and a drop set. So you can also put the floor, and of course, there's like that because I'm having problems. I'm having difficulty storing these things, I don't have a lot of space left. So that's what I've been up to, guys. I'll be back soon because I've got a lot of other stuff that I've been making too. And some of them, because they're so redundant, not redundant, but I, I don't think anybody's interested in watching me put these together because I have a video already of how I put seek out this thing um, for the for the boards, how I think about putting them together. I just thought I'd show you the finished result of the things I've been working on and why I haven't been posting that regularly because I've been busy making all of these things and putting them together. So join me next time and perhaps have some new things to show. See you later. Thanks for watching.